Neutron stars are the densest objects in the universe apart from black holes. In their cores, it's believed that one can find the most dangerous substance in the entire history of the universe, strange matter. This substance is strange not only because of the name. Strange matter violates the laws of the universe and is capable of destroying everything that comes into contact with it. What a nightmare, you say. But it's not that bad. This amazing matter, among other things, is able to tell a lot about the history of the universe, about its earliest stages. To understand how incredibly strange this matter is, we first need to understand a few basic facts about it. So, what is a neutron star and how does strange matter break the laws of the universe? A neutron star is the remnants of a giant supernova explosion. The core of the star collapses under the influence of its own growing gravity with such force that it compresses all the particles inside it. Electrons collide with protons and become neutrons. The whole void within the atoms is suddenly filled with particles that aren't really happy with each other's company, but they don't have a choice. They desperately push in the opposite direction of gravity, resisting the collapse. If gravity wins, then meet the new black hole. If particles win, a neutron star appears. Due to this, neutron stars resemble giant atomic nuclei the size of a city but with the mass of our sun. Imagine that one spoonful of neutron matter on Earth would weigh more than the matter that makes up the moon. Here's where it got strange. Conditions of the neutron star core are so unusual that the laws of nuclear physics change dramatically there. These conditions can lead to the appearance of a strange and dangerous substance, but let's not rush into it. First, you need to remind yourself of the laws before the way to break them. Protons and neutrons are the particles that make up the atomic nucleus. They in turn are made up of smaller particles called quarks. Quarks don't like being alone. You can try to pull them apart, but the more you pull, the more they'll be attracted to each other. If you put a lot of energy into this split, they'd just steal it and use it to create new quarks. Quarks exist only as building blocks for other particles and have never been considered on their own. They're funnily named up quark, down quark, strange quark, charm quark, top quark, and bottom quark. But only two of them are capable of creating stable matter, the up and down quarks. All other variations quickly decay. But this rule may not work inside neutron stars. The forces in the cores of these stars are so extreme that they resemble the processes that took place in the universe immediately after the Big Bang. Thus, understanding the rules by which quarks exist inside neutron stars is a way to plunge into the history of the universe and an opportunity to better understand its ancient nature. According to one theory, inside a neutron star, the nucleus, protons, and neutrons decay, turning into a mass of quarks. A huge number of particles turn into a single object, entirely consisting of quarks. Such matter is called quark matter. A star made up of this matter is called a quark star. In 1970, the idea of quark stars was developed by Toshiaki Ito, and in 1971, Arnold Bodmer showed the possibility of the existence of a strange quark matter composed of three types of quarks. In 1984, this idea gained particular popularity after the appearance of Edward Witten's article on quark grains, clumps of invisible quark matter. According to Witten, such grains, also called strangelets, could have remained in the universe after the Big Bang and formed dark matter. And when combined under the influence of gravity, they could form quark stars. From the outside, such stars will barely differ from ordinary neutron stars. 
Now we can talk about a very dangerous substance. If the pressure inside a quark star gets strong enough, things get weird. In the cores of neutron stars, some quarks turn into strange versions of themselves. They're significantly heavier and stronger than their normal counterparts. It's their mass that constitutes strange matter. According to many scientists, it's one type of matter that could be an example of an ideal substance, ideal density, absolute stability, and indestructibility. This matter is so stable that it can exist outside of a star, and this is a problem. This perfection is contagious, therefore in contact with strange matter, any other matter will try to correspond to it, thus turning into strange matter. Protons and neutrons, of which you and I are made, will begin to decay, joining the mass of strange quarks. The only way to escape this disaster is to throw all this matter into a black hole. You might be thinking, why worry if all these quarks are inside of neutron stars? But what happens if one such star collides with another? They'll eject an incredible amount of their contents before collapsing, including small particles of this very strange matter, which are commonly called strangelets, that is, strange droplet. These particles are able to travel huge distances until they stumble upon a random star or planet. After the collision, the particle will instantly begin to turn everything around it into itself. The collision of a strangelet with the nucleus of an atom can cause it to turn into strange matter, which is accompanied by the release of energy. As a result, new strangelets scatter in all directions, which theoretically can lead to a chain reaction. By the way, the Large Hadron Collider, the pride of humanity and part-time charged particle accelerator, made the best advertisement for the strangelet. Recall that this accelerator was put into operation in 2008 with the participation of scientists from more than a hundred countries. Such a grandiose project could not fail to attract the attention of those who were convinced that the experiments could even jeopardize life on Earth. Supporters of the worst-case scenario have long believed that a killer strangelet would be born there and not fly in from somewhere in outer space. This calls to mind the unforgettable novel Cat's Cradle by American writer Kurt Vonnegut, where under the influence of a fictional substance, all the water on Earth turns into Ice-9. Fortunately for you and me, and unfortunately for pessimists, the results of many years of experiments indicate the absence of the formation of stable strangelets as a result of the collider work. But back to the space guest. Imagine that a random planet located in the path of the strangelet is the Earth. Its mass will decrease catastrophically, and everything living and non-living on it will merge into one huge mass of strange matter. If a strange matter particle collided with our Sun, then its size wouldn't decrease too much, but its brightness would decrease dramatically. The Earth would simply freeze. Thus, at our current level of technological progress, humanity simply doesn't have the ability to predict or halt this possibility of a monumental catastrophe. A terrible prospect, but there's also another theory according to which particles of strange matter are a common thing in the universe. They do no harm, but quite the opposite. They helped expand the universe during its youthful early years. Perhaps it's this strange matter that acts as the force that holds entire galaxies together. A man with the wonderful name Jin Jun Jang and his colleagues at Nanjing University believe they've discovered strange matter planets made up of the hypothetical strange matter. Their paper has been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal. On average, the planets known to us have a density of about 30 grams per cubic centimeter, but those consisting of a strange substance should be trillions of times denser. Such an incredible density allows them to persist even when they're at extremely close distances from a strange star and rotate a couple of tens of kilometers from its surface without being torn apart by the power of tidal forces. 
All of these are just theories, but we understand that the Earth and its neighbors have not been swallowed up by any sinister guest from outside for billions of years. This suggests that this will not happen in the distant future either, although who can know for sure? So, while you wait for the universe to end, it would be nice to know a little more about it. So, keep watching our videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.